humanity is, is the product of human seeding three, which occurred 850,000 years ago. So we're from human seeding three, pretty much. Now, when, uh, okay, so now what I'm going to do, if you guys want to understand the history of what happened, you know, 5.5 million years, two human seeding, one being wiped out, two being seeded, and then uh, three, which was 850,000 years ago, a lot of history is in there, and you can read that history in The Secrets of the Menti, okay? Um, if you haven't read The Secrets of the Menti, if you're here, I know you have The Secrets of the Menti. And if you haven't read it, I just want to say that there's no literature on the planet currently that has the most accurate uh, historical information in terms of humanity and what happened to us and where we came from than that book. So I strongly urge everyone to read it. I'm going to skip uh, that history between 5.5 million years and um, I'm going to go to 155 thousand years ago, well, 155 BC, okay, which would be about 157,000 years ago. Now, the, I'm going to go there because I want to talk about the Illuminati and how they were created. Now, the Illuminati races were created because there were very genuine um, Anunnaki souls who had, you know, Anu Elohim soul essence in them, right? Who wanted their 12 strand back. So they entered Emerald Covenant um, in the soul plane and agreed, you know, with guardians to enter into a biological planet in order to interbreed with the angelic human tribes. And um, over time, they would, you know, when, when you interbreed with, when you're a fallen race and you interbreed with an, the angelic humans, you create an, a whole different race line. And then you would incarnate into that race line progressively until you build your 12th strand. And then you can ascend out of time through Lyra is the idea. So the Anu Elohim souls earnestly wanted, who earnestly wanted uh, their 12th strand incarnated for a bioregenesis program that was, um, um, supervised by an uh, Anunnaki entity called Thoth. I speak a lot about Thoth. Uh, I'm sure you guys know. So Thoth back then was actually trusted by the founders and the, the guardians in the lower timelines didn't really know because the, when the, when the Wiesedek beings cut us off from our crystal selves, the last thing we knew that thought was faithful to the Christos founders races. So we didn't know, and we didn't have a way to, to connect with our avatar selves to let us know. So thought was doing a lot of uh, stuff, uh, sneaky stuff. And he allied himself with the Enlil and Inki plan, which was to dominate humanity and to take over the halls of Amenti pretty much. So he was commissioned by the Syrian High Council to uh, supervise this incarnation by a regenesis program for these Anu Elohim souls. But, you know, you're an Anu Elohim with 11 strands. You can't just incarnate into angelic human bodies, right? So you have to create some kind of form to, to incarnate into. Now... The form that was created by the, the uh, Thothian Anunnaki was pretty much it was the, the Neanderthal. And the way that the, this is where the Neanderthal fits into our history, by the way. We don't come from the Neanderthal. And, and this explains why and how they mysteriously just appeared. Now, the Neanderthal was created back then, they were called the Ulu Levi when they were first created. They were created by taking angelic human DNA coding, mixing it with Anunnaki DNA coding, and two ape strains, one from Earth and one from Nibiru. Remember, Nibiru used to be in our solar system, and, and they hijacked its orbit. But we used to have 12 planets, not the, the nine that you see. So they took an ape strain from Nibiru, Earth, mixed it with angelic human and Anunnaki gene, and they created the Ulu Levi, the Neanderthal. Now, when this happened, 
this is when the Anu Elohim souls started incarnating into these Neanderthals so that over time they can interbreed in, under Emerald Covenant with the angelic human race and then they would look progressively look more and more like angelic humans and they would get their 12 strand back but they would be a different race right this is why we have so many different races so the Elulu Levi uh, and the Thothian Anunnaki, instead of, uh, you know, going along with the Emerald Covenant, as they agreed, they pretty much had an agenda and they started creating war sentience uh, in, in essence and training these Neanderthals to raid angelic human tribes, murder the men, the children, rape the women, uh, uh, force them to, to rear and bear the, ch the child pretty much. And over time, they progressively look more and more like us. Now, you know, you're not going to be raping angelic humans and getting your 12 strand back that way. It has to be done in a wholesome, Christic way. Um, and at that time, that was around the time they cut us off from the D11 and D12 frequency. So we weren't even getting the D12 frequency which is the reset frequency to like clear out distortions in the DNA and stuff. So we were literally sitting ducks um, getting preyed upon by these fallen angelics for a very long time. Now, this event in our history, it was very traumatic for uh, the, the humanity, sacred feminine, a lot of women, you know, imagine being a woman back then, right? A an angelic human woman or a Maji grail line woman. And, you know that you're contributing to the destruction of your planet and you're being forced to do it. So this caused a lot of uh, trauma in, in the sacred feminine psyche, humanity, sacred feminine psyche, which we're still clearing and dealing with today. Uh, not to mention other times in our history, like the Iyani massacre where the Anunnaki took a lot of Maji Grail line women who had high angelic human coding to Nibiru and, you know, and, and rape them pretty much to create other race lines. Now, um, when this happened, the, progressively as the, uh, as the Alulu Levi started raiding angelic human tribes and looking more and more like us, what they were in fact doing was replacing the original angelic human tribes. They were literally stealing race identities one by one and this was called this was called the Le leviathan invasion in our history the leviathan illuminati bloodlines come from this they, they originate from this big mess right here and this created more distortions all the raping and stuff not only in our genetics but even in their genetics it created way more distortions now i'm gonna go from 100 and 57,000 years, and I'm going to go to 25,500 years ago. 25,500 years ago was when the Lucifer Rebellion took place. And what the Lucifer Rebellion was, was all the competing Anunnaki races, like the Jehovian Anunnaki, the Thothian Anunnaki, uh, the Marduk race lines, the Enlil, Inki race lines, um, there's one more, oh, the Galactic Federation, they're Anunnaki groups too. All these competing race lines united in an event called the Luciferian um, Rebellion, and they declared war on the founders and on angelic humans, on Gaia, Tara, and Earth. Okay, so this was the Luciferian Rebellion. And when, when this happened, and I'll talk about this in, in the continuation class, uh, which I usually do on Sundays. And, and, you know, I talk about alien technology and stuff like that. When, um, when the Lucifer, Luciferian Rebellion happened, our Earth got tangled in what's called the, the net. It's Niberian electrostatic transduction field, pretty much, or net. Our galaxy and our Earth got entangled in that, and they've been progressively been able to recycle our souls because of this event also, and keep us literally in, in a consciousness prison. So the Lucifer, Luciferian Rebellion happened 25,500 years ago. Now I'm going to go to 
9,500, I'm uh, sorry, uh, 9570 9, BC. Uh, and that event pretty much was the Atlantean invasion. And in the Atlantean invasion, what they did was they used uh, scalar pulse technology um, trying to invade, invade the inner earth portals, which they'd never been able to do, by the way. Now, for millions of years, they've tried to, to invade the inner earth portal, and they, they haven't succeeded. One thing I, w I want to mention is, remember I, I was telling you, because some of you indigos might pick up on this, um, I was telling you how we incarnate over here, and then you know six of us go to earth, and then six to parallel earth. Well, with indigos, it's, it's slightly different, because they have a pair of themselves here in our inner earth. So if, if you're ex having experiences like you're dealing with the halls of Amenti or uh, just like the, these inner earth experiences, you, you, you more than likely are an indigo and you're connecting with your identities that are in inner earth because indigos have twins and, and you have a pair here, a, a female and a male uh, presence. And if, if you do that, that would be called the, the indigos in inner earth, your virgins in inner earth are the Iani Council. And the Iani Council come from the Ascended Master levels. They come here from Rishi. So when, when they started um, shooting pulse, the scalar pulses into the Earth's crust, uh, in order to, actually in order to attack the, uh, the inner Earth portal, they failed. But what they successfully did, because they're bozos uh, and they miscalculated, the net got ruptured the the net that our we got entangled in in the lucifer rebellion got ruptured enough where it poked a lot of holes and made it look like swiss cheese which allowed a lot of souls to actually escape the anunnaki net and what this also did was it allowed guardian races to immediately come in they they had a way to come in now because these bozos ruptured their net they came in and they got as many angelic human tribes as, as they could, and they took them into the inner earth portal. And this is where the legends of the Native Americans come from, where they talk about the ant people. They came in and they took them in, in, into inner earth, and then they brought them back to earth after the waters and stuff, because a flood happened then. So, you know, after the waters res recited, they, uh, they seated them back on earth, but, you know, they came up to, I think it was the fourth or fifth world is what they say, so this is where you get those legends from. And uh, when, uh, when this happened, the, the, uh, th this was actually a, a good thing, uh, you know, because it backfired on the Anunnaki and it allowed a lot of us to escape. And according to the Guardians, the net still looks, you know, like Swiss cheese. So it's not like they repaired much of it afterwards. Maybe they came up with other methods. There are like soul capturing devices um, there, like the, the tunnel that you see, that's actually technology. It'll interface with the belief system of the individual. So it'll give the Christian a Christian heaven and the Muslim a Muslim heaven, but these aren't heavens, they're detention centers, and then they recycle you, right? So when you're dealing with... Uh, with the hijacking of souls. What's happening is that these universes that I'm talking about, okay, when I, when I talked about this universe and then it had an anti-particle double, we're the feminine universe, then it has a masculine. The reason why we don't see each other, even though we're in the same space, is because of the particle uh, rotational spin on a molecular level, uh, on a subatomic level. Everything has a Merkaba. So the spin uh, on, on the subatomic levels and the particle levels, that spin is what causes the, the, the universes to not see each other. You know, even though they're in the same space, they're spinning in, in different uh, Merkaba spins, so they become invisible to each other, right? Now, when you progressively do Archangel Michael, Metatron frequencies. Remember, there's three frequencies messing with us right now. One, you know, the organic one is not messing with us. That's, that's our true us. But we have two other frequencies coming in. We have one from Phantom. We have one from Wiesedek. 
these frequencies are in all life. They're vying for the takeover of Earth, and that's why they're all here anchored on Earth at this time. So when you're consciously pulling in the metatronic frequencies that's currently on Earth, so is the organic one, and so is the phantom one, right? You're consciously pulling this in. You're making your Merkaba spin in the direction that their universe spins, that their false universe spins. So upon dropping the body, you align yourself with that universe, okay? I always say that, that uh, it's actually uh, easier for, for a, an atheist to, to ascend than it is for someone who's consciously calling in the Metatronic or Archangel Michael frequencies. And the reason why is because right now with the plasma fields coming and, and anchoring into our earth and it's going through the Christic people and through, through their DNA and it's supporting the earth's grid, that is going to support everyone's uh, Merkaba. It's going to fix what plasma does is just bypass alien machinery and it helps gradually helps the, the spin of your Merkaba spin in the Christic way. Okay. So an atheist doesn't believe in God. They're not consciously uh, pulling in any frequencies. They're just kind of going along with the flow of the earth's grid. Right. So they're good. But those who are, you know, and that's why the new age is so popular. The new age was completely created by the Galactic Federation. Why do you think they created it? Why do you think they have channeled teachers? They want people's Merkaba to spin in their direction. You guys are, are valuable to them. You are source energy, literally. When, uh, when this flood happened, right, when, when they did this flood, the Anunnaki took off planet their, uh, their chosen ones. There were a race called the Anu Melchizedek back then, the Leviathan Illuminati bloodlines. They took them off planet, literally drowned the rest of us. And see, they, in this, there was three floods, and, and these three floods in our history were the three times that they, they, it was a force biologically induced, biologically and env environmentally induced memory wipe. And the way that they were able to orchestrate that is when you force a planet to pole shift, what happens is that the electromagnetic frequency of the planet abruptly plummets. You have an electromagnetic field around you too that corresponds with the Earth, Earth's electromagnetic field. You call it your aura. The electromagnetic field around the Earth, that's the Earth's aura, right? It corresponds with one another. Matter of fact, Russian scientists, when they started sending their astronauts to, you know, outside of Earth's atmosphere, the first time they did it, their astronauts killed each other. They, they literally went crazy in space and murdered each other. You can actually Google this. The Russians developed a, a, a belt that created a synthetic electromagnetic field that, you know, that can be placed around the human's bodies so you don't lose your freaking mind, right? When you, when you force a planet to pole shift and that abrupt drop of electromagnetic frequency erases the species memory because our thoughts are magnetic and electric. It's really that simple. This the tower of Babel incident too. I made posts about that. That was another one of these events. The tower of the reason they call it Babel is because we were Babel. We were literally Babylon. And after they erased our memories, they started teaching us language. So we went from being right brained, you know, the feminine intuitive side to being more left brained. Right now I have a question because they didn't only erase our memory, but they also erased the memory of the Illuminati races that they created and, and had here. They took their chosen ones off planet and then brought them back after, you know, they drowned us and wiped our memories. But why would they want the Illuminati children to lose their memory too? Can anyone tell me that really quickly? No, to, wow. see if they would, to see if no, they would have less compassion before. again. <laughs> what would you, you say, Trista? To see if they would have less oh. compassion again. Well, um, no, that, that wasn't necessarily it. Um, of course, I mean, it, it, uh, it makes a species start all over, right? They have to, to remember things and everything. But the, the real reason was, remember when I told you that when the Lulu Levi was created um, in 155 BC, they created them with angelic human DNA 
which had the diamond sun, portions of the diamond sun, right? We have the full diamond sun. They have portions of it. Um, and they put Anunnaki DNA and then two ape strands from, you know, planet Earth and planet Nibiru, right? So what this meant was that the Anunnaki, or I'm sorry, the Illuminati children had Anunnaki DNA in them. And that meant that the Anunnaki who exist here could have uh, DNA access to our stargates if they erase both memories, the angelic humans and the Illuminati. And then what did the Lord say after the flood, guys? This is in Genesis 6. Who knows, who, who knows the, the Bible? In Genesis 6, what did, what did Jehovah say? Go and be, go and be fruitful. fruitful. Right. So he told them to go and be fruitful because they literally wanted people to start sleeping together. The, this is a way to, to take over by genetic right the stargates of a planet over a long period of time. All the Anunnaki had to do was erase our memories and the Illuminati races that were on planet. And then after that, they uh, modified our women's DNA. Our women used to ovulate every three years, not the every 30 days that's going on now. That's unnatural. And that's because of DNA manipulation. So they wanted our women to have babies at hyperspeed for the year 2000 when the stargates open if they can speed up as many people as possible and the, and they can get their dna into as many people as possible then they would have access of the halls of amentis stargates they just had to keep us stupid for 13,000 years and they've been doing a, an amazing job at keeping us stupid for 13,000 years this is why they they couldn't take us out because if you take out the angelic human uh species the stargates will close forever. The, pole, the, the earth will go into pole shift. Everything will get locked down. Nothing can go in and out. So they, they couldn't wipe us out. They had to erase our memory and keep us stupid for 13,000 years because organic human biology is the only thing that opens up the halls of Amenti. And the halls of Amenti opened between the year 2000 and the year 2017. They started chemtrailing us with smart dust uh, for about two decades. They figured, okay, uh, by the time these humans open up the halls of Amenti, we won't need, you know, we won't need them anymore. So we might as well put these smart dust in them so we can turn them into transhuman because we won't need them anymore. This was supposed to be the, the sixth and final extinction of, of mankind. There was actually five um, human extinctions. I talked about three, but there was actually five. This would have been the sixth. Okay, uh, but the Guardian stopped it in, in the year 2012. Now, um, the fact that, you know, I, I want you to, to use your imagination here. Um, the fact that we were invaded 13,000 years ago and the third memory wipe was in the Tower of Babel where everyone started babbling. Because each time they did that, there was enough people. You know, there were beings coming from inner earth and, and bringing back the truth. So the third time, the Tower of Babel was literally, that was it. That's when we completely forgot that the, we were the guardians of the planet. And then the way that they started taking all our ancient buildings, angelic human, you know, they find stuff like under the oceans and they don't know who built them or how they even got there. That's because the alien technology missed those parts. But the way that they were able to take everything out is by sound technology. It's called trumpet technology. That's why the same way that they took out the Twin Towers. There's a lot of comments talking about it was explosives and stuff like that. But the physicist is telling you that it's impossible for explosives to turn three buildings into dust. Okay, that does not happen. I don't care how much explosions you use. You're going to have massive debris. You're going to have a mountain full of debris. And there was nothing but dust. Nothing we have can do that, okay? So this is how they, uh, they turned everything to dust. This is why we don't have much to go off here except some of the rare finds in, deep in the oceans and stuff like that. Um, and they started uh, teaching us false history after that. And we, you know, this technology I'm talking to you on, they're trying to convince us that this is evolution, that we evolved to this point. And it's, it, all the technology around us is based on Metatronic death science. It's actually a form of spiritual 
um, the biospiritual harvesting. These frequencies that all this emits harvests us and we don't even know it. And that's why they have a swimming in dirty electricity and 5G and stuff like that. And they progressively always suppress organic technology. You see, uh, why do you think that they build telephone wires over our heads? You know, they would rather spend millions of dollars uh, when, um, you know, storms happen and it knocks down these poles. They keep rebuilding them and keeping them over our heads. Why? So we don't all meet each other in dream time like we used to. <laughs> okay. Now, they can easily put those uh, wires and poles underground where weather can't ever mess with them and they, they won't have to spend money on it to keep repairing it, right? Why don't they do that? They want it over our heads. Uh, why, why, why did they create this as a weapon against us? You know, that's literally what it was created. When they designed this, they were like, okay, in the future, we need, need it to be a weapon against humanity. So this is how the Thothi and Anunnaki think. And uh, I'm not over-exaggerating in the least bit here. Every country that you see has been brought to its present state by the Anunnaki and the Illuminati. Every single major country that you see for the big showdown when the Stargates opened, everyone was in position, okay? None of this is evolution. We're all being tricked and we're constantly being tricked. And anyone here who believes in Trump, um, I don't even understand how a man like Trump can, can come and mess up the Anunnaki's plan that's been literally in progress for millions of years to take over the halls of Amenti. How is someone like Trump going to do that? Trump instead, think of him like, okay, well, the Anunnaki invaded the United States uh, to take over the Sarasota Stargate in Florida. Okay? They wanted to position themselves 300 years ago. They came up with an idea to invade America for the future. They wanted America to be the military capital. They wanted London to be the financial capital, and they wanted the Vatican to be the religious capital. Okay? They were all positioned there on purpose. America wasn't invaded because uh, pilgrims wanted land and they were trying to get away from uh, the British and, and all that. That's all bullshit. It, it, in, in higher parts of government back there, it was motivated by the Thothi and Anunnaki to take over, literally to take over that one stargate, the Sarasota stargate, and to uh, make sure that America becomes the military capital of the world in the future when the stargates open. So everything you think you know about history is completely wrong, literally. Every single thing um, is completely wrong. And this is what you know, I, I would like you guys to wake up to, because when you understand that, when you look at television, what you will see is actors. You won't see real human beings. You'll see people trying to fool you. You know, when you understand this, that this has happened to you, you will, you will understand that everyone is, is positioned there on purpose. Another thing that no one has taken in consideration is that we have these things called astral bodies, mental bodies, um, etheric bodies, uh, what else, hova bodies. There's six bodies. I, I never can remember them all. But no one takes into consideration that the Anunnaki place implants in the astral bodies and mental bodies of our politicians. Not only do, do they have genetic access to them, but they're implanting them very heavily because the souls that are in these politicians are them. They're the Anuelahim souls. They, they're the Anunnaki souls, you see? So they implant them and everything, and it's a way of beings in, in these dimensions here, in these higher dimensions, literally using our politicians as puppets to create a show for angelic humanity that we've been falling for forever, okay? It's, it's literally time to let it go. It, it's all a scam. Everything is a scam because the reason why we even exist in this particular time is to reclaim the stargates. This is why the Paladorians time traveled. And when they time traveled, that event was called the Christos Realignment Mission. The Christos Realignment Mission was in progress for, two, uh, for 550 million years. And it was aborted and it failed in our lifetimes in the year 2004. Okay, now we're on plan B, which I'll talk about in, in the other meeting. But, you know, this is, this is the seriousness of it. It's, it's really, it, 
about letting go of the news, letting go of the, what they tell you. When it comes to governments, military, banking, all those are Anunnaki models. They did not exist before the invasion. That is not how we lived, guys. We, we didn't live like that. That's not in our nature. Those are all Anunnaki models. That's how they live in their phantom matrix. Mm -hmm.